What's up and welcome back to another one. It is like the middle of May right now. Turkey season's winding down. We're starting to think towards fall. You know, waterfowl hunting, deer hunting. But anyways, it's gonna be a little bit different video for you guys. I'm here with Hunter. We're grilling some steaks. Got some peppers on there, some mushrooms to snack on. Like I said, it's gonna be a little bit different video. It's probably gonna be all over the place. But we're gonna do some product reviews for you guys. Talk about some products that we use during waterfowl season that we really like or maybe we don't like. But anyways, we're gonna eat first. Um, check out the sick new intro we got. Yeah. All right, well, we just got done eating. Nice steak dinner, courtesy of your boy over here, but it got a little dark outside, so I moved inside. But as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it is about the JT Calls. Uh, we've been running for about three years. About three years now, yeah. Um, pretty over, or overall, we're pretty happy with them, but we got the short fuse, SFX, and CQ2 and we just wanted to kind of give you our honest opinion of them. So here we go. Uh, first call up, it's a CQ2. I'll start out by giving you a little sound file here. Um, keep in mind, it is May. We are a little rusty, <laughs> and we're just a couple average dudes blowing on duck and goose calls here. So here we go. CQ2, double read, acrylic call. Overall, I love this call. I love how it sounds, I love how it operates. Really easy to blow. The only downfall I have to it is sometimes the double reads, they stick together. Now, that might not be on the call, that might be more on me, because I am Sammy Spitz a lot when it comes to duck calling. But, anyways, love the call. Um, next call up, short fuse. I'll let Betty take the run on here with it. So. All right, guys. We got the short fuse made by JT, acrylic goose call, short read. One thing I really like about the call, really easy to blow. You can go back and forth between notes really fast. The only thing I don't like about it is me personally, I like a dark, goosey sound. And personally, I asked JT to customize my call to the deepest that he could possibly get. And which he did a pretty good job at doing, but still, on some of the goose calls I've heard in the past, it, the other ones get a lot deeper than this. But nonetheless, it's uh, it's a pretty deep call. Not bad. I'm going to give you a little audio of it and, uh, yeah, see what you think. <laughs> So that's the uh, that's JT short fuse call, and that's actually the first one we bought, and we both fell in love with it. Loved it. That's and that that's the reason we or I have so far purchased these other two. I mean, yeah, this I'm is, a little behind the ball on that one, but <laughs> just a damn good call. Um, super versatile, uh, good range, good oh, volume range. I mean, you can get girthy down low with it, and then you can get. I mean, you get into a whole mess of lessers, cacklers. You can you can pick up the pitch and, sure. and just really get squeaky with it. And I mean, it's a super versatile call, mm -hmm. and that's I mean, I guess that's what we both love about it. Because in the part of we're from Nebraska, if you guys didn't know that, I mean, I know a lot of you know that that are watching. But uh, a lot of the geese we're hunting around here are big local honkers. I mean, they're some deep honking son of a guns, <laughs> and, and so that's when a lot of what we're striving for when it comes to goose hunting that's what we are going after is chasing these giant local greater canada geese around our area and so but at the same time when the migration is hot the lessers are all over the place and, for sure. and, and you gotta you gotta be ready for them so and if you want to call that you know get you a wide range of things the jt short that's fuse the one. will reach them dark you know dark big honkers or the the squeakier lessers absolutely and then so 
that kind of brings us to the SFX. I mean, although, I mean, we had, like I said, he had JT tune it himself. I did the same thing with this call, but this is the SFX. We both are kind of in agreement. It's a little bit deeper of a call, a heck of a lot easier to blow. If you are a beginning goose caller, I would seriously recommend looking at this call. It takes minimum air to blow it. Um, but that being said, we've been waterfowl hunting for six, seven years hard together. For sure. Calling yep. and uh, and I would, I'm not, would say I'm an advanced caller, but I definitely know what I'm doing with them. And this is my go-to call. I absolutely love this call. Super easy to blow. Again, good volume range. Um, the only thing I would say is it is not as fast as a short fuse. You can't rip through the notes like you can with the short fuse. It's more of a just a, a perfect call for hunting your big local honkers. But anyways, enough of me talking. Give you a sound file. Um, here we go. SFX. <laughs> SFX, there we have it. All right, guys, well, that's all the calls. Um, overall, like I said, JT calls, we love them. Been using them for three years now. Don't plan on stop using them nope. anytime soon. Um, he keeps coming out with new calls constantly. I said, this is one of them, it's another. We're gonna keep running them. Great calls, and I, this can't be gone unsaid. Um, from our personal experience, probably the best customer service For that sure. we have seen in the outdoor industry. I mean, the dude is fantastic. He has a money back guarantee on all his calls. You don't like him, you send him back, he gives you a refund. We haven't had to deal with that. We love our calls, we've kept them. Um, but any anything you need, he's happy to help out. Great customer service. But anyways, that being said, great calls. Don't have a whole lot. Really nothing bad to say about them, like nothing. I said. And uh, if you're looking for a new goose call or whatever, be sure to go check them out. But that wraps up part one of this little two-part waterfowl product review series thing that we're kind of doing. It's pretty loose, if you can tell. We're not real laid back. Not real organized about this deal, but we're rolling with it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave us a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Like I said, part two is coming next week or the week thereafter. Really not sure yet. But anyways, enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, and we're going to catch you on the next one. Take them.